Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 343. It's a medium level problem, uh, but a good one to solve. I would say it's better than the other three le third level problems that you get. Okay. And you can see that with the accuracy as well. So the problem name is minimum cost of a path with special roads. Okay. So let me just, yeah. So you are given an array start where start equals to start X start Y representing your initial position okay in a 2d space you are also given an array target where target equals to target x target y uh, target y that represents your target position okay now the cost of going from a position x1 y1 to any other position in the space x2 y2 is x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 that is the manhattan distance right simple you just take out the difference of the corresponding uh, coordinates and just add it right like for example uh, find the difference of x coordinates and find the difference of y coordinates and add their absolute values okay there are all there are also some special roads you are given a 2d array special roads where special roads of i equals to it says that you can go from a point x1 i y1 i to x2 i y2 i with a cost this okay so again indicates that i th special load can take you from this point to this point with a cost equals to cost of i okay you can use each special load any number of times return the minimum cost required to go from start x start y to target x target y okay so it it, it means that okay in a 2d mate in a 2d plane what you have given you are you are given a start point you are given an end point okay and the distance between them can be calculated using the manhattan distance right simple but you are also given some special roads like here okay and these special roads tell that that if you want to go from 1 2 to 3 3 i have a special road with, with a cost of 2 okay now just see if you have a point 1 2 and 3 3 if you find out the corresponding differences so this will be 2 plus 1 so if you find the manhattan distance between them you will you'll have to give a cost of 3 however this special load will just ask you for a cost of 2 right so this is an optimization similarly if you look into the other road so it's a point three four and four five right so again you find the differences uh, so the cost will be two if you use the manhattan distance but the cost is one if you use the special load right so this is the use of special load that i was talking about okay so you have to go from start position this is the start position to the end position okay and you can use any special load any number of times you want or you can directly use the manhattan distance right that's it and you have to tell the minimum cost required to go from start point to the end point right that's it that's the problem like in this case let's see what happens we start from 1 1 and we have to go to 4 5 okay so the optimal path from 1 1 to 4 5 is the following you go from 1 1 to 1 2 okay let me show you a matrix like this or let me just erase it just a second okay i will show you yeah let me make the 2d space here right so this is the 2d space suppose this is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 i'm standing at 1 1 i have to go at 4 5 right i have to go here there are some special loads as well so what it's saying the optimal path from 1 1 to 4 5 is this you go from 1 1 to 1 2 okay so you go from here to here then from 1 2 you take the special edge so from 1 2 you go to 3 3 so this is 3 3 so you take a special load this okay and then from 3 3 you go to 3 4 again manhattan distance and then you take the last special load that is 3 4 to 4 5 so this is how you travel now what is the cost now the cost of this is one this is a special load so the cost is given as two okay this again has a manhattan distance of one and this again has a cost of one it's given right so the total cost is five okay now if you don't use a special load what happens you have to go from one one to four five what will be the manhattan distance it will be three plus four that is seven getting it so the cost would have been seven if you would have, if you would have used the manhattan distance right so here we have used two special loads you can use just one as, as well but that is of no use right because if when you come here if you want to directly go from three three to four five again see what the manhattan distance is it's one plus two that is three so if you directly go from here to here it will take a cost of three however that's a cost of two getting it so that's what we need to do this is what the problem is asking us to do
now what's the trick here what's the trick here so again this is also one of the examples let's see the constraints so the constraints are the length of start and target will obviously be 2 because you have x and y coordinates um, it says that the value of those coordinates can go up to 10 raised to power 5 the number of special roads is at max 200 now this is the trick to solve the problem the constraint here okay is at most 200 special roads dot i is length equals to 2 yes because in every special road you will have xy coordinates uh, for start and end point and a corresponding cost okay and it says that it will be a valid point and the cost of i will be 10 raised to power 5 right so the constraints are pretty less don't go that okay this is the range the trick here is these many roads okay these many roads so i will try out each road and then that will give me the optimal cost so let's see how we'll proceed okay so whenever you we want to find the minimum distance right uh, the first algorithm probably in case of a graph that comes to our mind is the extra algorithm right shortest path right from a source to a particular destination so again what we can do this is our starting point okay this is our starting point now what we will do we will keep a track we will keep a track of what is the minimum distance okay what is the minimum distance uh, of, of, of this point right of this point so for example i start from here okay i start from here now what is the minimum distance of this point from starting point so since this is starting point the distance is zero okay now what i'll do i will obviously since i want to apply the extra algorithm i'll push it into a queue i will also maintain a map which will basically help me to find out that for a particular point what is the minimum distance till now from the starting point okay for a particular point what is the minimum distance till now so initially i'll have only zero okay now what i'll do i'll I'll pull out, I'll pull this value from my queue and, I'll tr and I will try all the roads. I have 200 roads at max, right? I'll try out all the roads, okay? Now, what is the benefit of this? So, I, I can show you that in the code as well. But the benefit of this will be, suppose I'm standing here, okay? And what I have to do? I have to suppose use a road, okay? Suppose I have to use a road. So, what I will do, okay? What I'll do? From this point, I have to go to the starting point of this road. This is first step. The second step is I have to, uh, if I use this edge, I'll be going from the starting point of this edge to the ending point of this edge, right? This is the second step. Okay. This is the second step. So if I have to use this edge, okay, what I'll do, F wherever I'm standing from that point, I have to go to the starting point of a particular edge. I'll try it out for all the edges. And then that edge will take me to the end point of that particular edge by a cost that is already given in these special edges, right? This is what it will happen right so now what i'll do i'll do simple stuff right i'll do simple stuff this will help me in finding the cost that if i want to come at this point okay if i want to come at this point what is the cost why am i doing it i am doing it because suppose this is a special edge right so actually this is special edge is helping me in minimizing the distance till this target point right if this is the end point of edge so this special edge is helping me to reach this particular point in an optimal way, right? So I am calculating the cost to reach the end of a, of an edge, okay? Of an edge from the starting point. So once I know it, all I need to do is, all I need to do is this, suppose this is my target point. I can use the Manhattan distance till here, right? I can use the Manhattan distance till here. Simple stuff, okay? Simple stuff. Now, you guys must be having a query that how actually this works. Suppose I have multiple edges. So suppose this is the point where you are standing. This is one edge. This is second edge. This is your target. Okay. So what you will do? First, you will calculate the distance to come here. So again, this distance, this is Manhattan distance and using the special edge. Okay. And obviously, you will put this point in the queue, right? So when you start processing this, this point, what you will do? You know the minimum distance to this point, right? Again, to reach this point, what you will do? To reach this point. So once you reach this point, the, the distance to reach the target is cost till here and this Manhattan distance. Okay. And the second way, when you start processing this point is, you know the minimum distance till here, right? If I want to use this special edge, I will use this edge and I'll calculate the distance to the target point, right? Simple stuff, exactly how the graph works. Let me show you the code so that it becomes clear. Okay. But I hope the intuition is clear. So this is how I start. Uh, I have a record. So record is a new data type that is introduced in uh, Java. So it is similar to what do you call it? Uh, uh, sort of a class with a couple of parameters that you create, right? So it's it's almost similar, right? Like for example, if you do not want to use it, you would have used a pair 
or you have created a class with point x and y but again i've used record you can use any other data type according to the language that you are using and this is the map this map what it does it says that for this point what is the minimum distance from the starting point right that is what i'm calculating okay now this is my function this is the target point i construct a point this is my start point okay these are the two things now what i do just a second yeah now now what i do i create a queue because i am going to apply bfs right breadth first such simple uh, or dijkstra both are same right so you put cost dot put start point zero meaning the distance of starting point is zero right obviously you are standing at the same point and you add this entry in the queue which entry start point and the minimum distance till here right you add it current minimum distance this is my answer what is the shortest path till now right i have initialized it by with integer dot max value now the main algorithm clicks in clicks in right so it says that while queue is not empty pull the value that you have in the front of the queue right see which point is it right what's the point and what is the cost to travel till this point right now whatever is the cost that you have fetched if that is greater than the cost that we have in the map that means we already have a shorter uh, cost right we already have a cost which is less than the current processing cost okay so you just continue you skip this you skip this right or else what you'll do you'll update your map that now to travel to this point i have a new cost right the one that i got from here right the one that i added here okay simple and shortest path equals to math dot min of shortest path cost to, to this point okay plus distance of the point where i'm standing this point to the target point this is the manhattan distance right simple if you are standing here and this is my start point then this is the cost i know and from this point if i want to go to target i will use manhattan distance right that is my shortest distance i'll keep on updating this answer right now how do i use my special loads that's the trick here okay so these are the special loads uh, obviously the fourth entry or rather the fifth entry is the cost I'll, I construct a couple of points again. What is the start of road? What is the end of road? Right? Just see this. Now I have to calculate the cost to end of road. The trick that I explained to you above, right? So, what is the cost to end of the road? If this is an H, so it is the point where I am standing, the Manhattan distance, this and this, right? So just see here, cost to to this point, this thing, distance from this point to the start of road, this thing, and road cost, this thing. Got it? So this is the cost to reach the end of the road, right? From here to here, this is the cost, okay? Now, if the cost to reach end of the road is greater than equal to the cost that you have in your map, then you skip it, right? Because it says that if this was my starting point, okay? This was my starting point, okay? Getting it? Or this was my starting point. Then the cost to reach here, okay? is already less than the cost that i've calculated right now so i'll i'll skip it otherwise i'll update the map with a lesser cost so either you continue or cost dot put end of road cost to end of road simple keep on updating the map okay that what is the minimum cost to reach the end of every edge right every time you calculate for every edge simple stuff now q dot add again at the entry that i've reached here right so end of the road and what is the cost to reach end of the road? The one that you have calculated. Simple, okay? You do it, you add it in the queue and again you start processing it. Getting it? You, again you start processing it. So this processing will happen till you have found out the, uh, for all the edges, found out the minimum distance to reach to its end point, right? Suppose you have 200 ed edges. So for all the edges you calculate what the min distance to reach the end and then use the Manhattan distance, right? Simple stuff. However, if the end lies on the target itself, then obviously the Manhattan distance will be zero but that, that's the trick right and this is the function which calculate the Manhattan distance so just see what I've used here and finally we return the shortest path so this was a good question I would say a, a little bit different from the other uh, graph uh, questions that you get because here the trick was you have to uh, deal with the edges right you have to deal with the edges uh, that okay the number of edges that you have is less so why not calculate the um, what do you call it the minimum cost to reach the end of each edge right manhattan distance because every time you cal uh, travel uh, you you travel in l shape right from this point suppose you want to reach this point so either you can travel like this this is l shape or you can directly travel like this right suppose you want to travel from this point to this point again either it's an l shape or you travel like this right so that's the main thing right either you take the manhattan distance or the special edge okay 
so yeah that's it from this for this problem i hope you learned something new from this video you, you enjoyed the solution uh, do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye